What's going on everyone, it's Kochi here, and today we have the gameplay, the official gameplay for the anniversary characters. They released their, you know, gameplays over on Twitter, so we have the videos here, just gonna quickly look at them and uh, see if there's anything new. I do have some things to talk about, so let's get into it. Alright, and we are here with the gameplay, so we're just gonna go over this uh, a little quickly, because there's not too, too much to see. Uh, this is like, you know, their official gameplay that K-Lab um, put out on Twitter and stuff, so they are 6 star max with all their skills and everything, so that's good. Um, there's a couple things that um, I learned about Byakuya specifically since um, the last video I made on the banner review. So we'll talk about that when we get to it, but uh, let's start things off. You got a special move. Looking nice. And then here we go with his actual 6 star gameplay. So we got his SA3 there. So wait, I want to go back to that SA3. Well, actually, these mobs are so weak. They're literally level 20 mobs, and this is a max length slot of Byakuya for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, it's not very good because they just die right away. So you probably can't really see the effect of the strong attack, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to like suck everything in and, and then explode. But that's the SA3. And now his SA2. So this is something I didn't realize prior. It's actually two strong attacks in one. It's not just a vortex. I think a lot of people were shitting on it because of the vortex aspect. But the first part is a 900, like 60 AOE or something like that in front of him. The AOE distant, like a cone shaped uh, strong attack in front of him at 120 mag. It's the regular magnification, everything. It's just a regular strong attack uh, that hits four times. So he has that. And then afterwards, there's a Vortex, this is the second strong attack, also 120 mag, 50 hit Vortex that homes and tracks by itself. So that actually changes things because I, I wasn't too sure about his SA2 at first, but seeing that uh, you know this is what it is, uh, I think that's pretty cool. He basically has two strong attacks in one at, at like a 14 second cooldown. Uh, you still get your regular big AoE strong attack, and then the Vortex is a homing Vortex, just leave it, who cares, let it do what it wants, right? It's gonna attack enemies and um, you don't have to worry about it. So I think that's pretty cool, actually. Um, I changed my opinion a bit more about his SA2 because initially I thought it was just like, oh, Vortex, kind of moving Vortex strong attack, but it's actually more than that. It is its own strong attack in and of itself with this 900 AoE, and then it has like a 600 AoE Vortex that moves around and just, you know, does its own thing. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, this SA1, though, not pretty cool. I think this one is still pretty trash. We, we've seen units with Havoc that have that SA1 as well. It's it's really not that great of a strong attack one, but um, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. If he had any other strong attack one, I think this unit would be so much, so much better. But uh, unfortunately, he does have this 18% mag SA1. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Byakuya. And again, I, like I said, more like... I guess pleasantly surprised that I found out that about his SA2 is actually like two strong attacks in one. It's a regular 120 mag, 900 AoE strong attack in front of him, and then a 50 hit vortex afterwards. So it's uh, pretty damn cool and really interesting to see. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Byakuya, and we'll have a look at Ichigo now. Here we are with Ichigo's gameplay, so we're just going to have another quick look at this. I don't think there's anything really unexpected or anything that we need to like um, be surprised by for Ichigo's because I think all the strong attacks and stuff are pretty straightforward, nothing really too new, um, you know, things we've seen before. But we have a special, just like Byakuya, looking very nice. Then let's see his strong attacks, SA3, so this is with Havoc. That's a pretty damn nice AoE. SA2 is also looking pretty nice. And then the SA1. Honestly, very, very solid looking kit. I don't really, uh, that was so quick. Uh, very solid looking kit. I don't really have any complaints with this Ichigo. I think um, like all his stuff is great. Uh, but yeah, that's I guess that's pretty much it. There's not really much to cover for Ichigo. This video, this, this video was mostly about Byakuya because um, I felt like um, there, there is more that I had more information to talk about, especially with first strong attack too. But uh, yeah, it's good to see their gameplay with their you know full six star maxed with all their skills unlocked because you see the actual AOEs of the strong attacks and the actual AOEs are actually much better because obviously they have havoc now. So uh, it's nice to see that. Uh, I think the characters 
Um, for the overall, I think they're good. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the characters. Not so much for the summons itself, but uh, we'll see how everything goes uh, later tonight. You know, if you guys are summoning, wish you the best of luck. I uh, hope you get whatever you're going after. You don't have to spend too much. Keep in mind, we're also going to have a part two uh, of Anniversary, and that'll more than likely be Thousand Blood War Stern Ridders. We don't know who, but um, you know, th th that's going to be here in like a week. So just keep that in mind, you know, when you're summoning for this banner. And these are also premium units, so you can pull them from tickets, and they'll be back multiple, multiple times in other banners down the line. But that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, and the link to Discord is in the description, so feel free to join. Other than that, uh, I will talk to you all later.